I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Poof the game. It's ages 14 and up, but my seven year old has played this with no problems. Two to six players and it takes 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to be the first to get rid of all of the cards in your hand. Uh, for setup, we have a three player game here. So you would use all the cards numbered one to 14 and all of the poof cards. We'd not use the numbers 15 to 20. You would use those with a different player count. Uh, to begin, you shuffle the cards and just make a big messy pile of them in the center of the game. And each player takes out 19 cards. Once they have 19 cards, they don't look at them at random. They flip four cards face down in front of them, four cards face up. They're all still part of their hand. I'll explain how that works. And then to start the game, each player takes an additional card and flips it face up in front of them. And whoever has the highest card gets to go first that round. So that would be this player. You just put those cards you flipped over back. You don't need them. These cards get shoved off to the side for the rest of the round. This player now gets to go. So they look at their hand, but they don't show anybody else what they're going to do. And what you get to do is you're playing from high to low and you can choose any quantity of the same number of card to play out on a central stack, which everybody is going to be playing on. So we'll go ahead and just have them start with number 14. That's the highest. Their turn is over and you're supposed to say how many of what number you're placing out in the center of the stack because sometimes it matters. So they would say 114. Now play pro progresses clockwise. It's this person's turn. They're going to look at their hand and they are going to play these cards. You can play at any time. They're part of their hand as well. So they can play a single 13. If they had a 13 in their hand, they could play the one from in their traditional hand along with the ones in front of them at the same time. They play it out, they say 113, and they get to flip over this card. Uh, their turn's over, it goes to this person. Same thing, they have to play the same number or lower. And really a lot at the beginning, you're trying to get these cards to uncover what's underneath. We'll say you can choose, you don't have to do your next lowest card. Let's say they go ahead and do their two nines. They can do both of these at the same time. They look, they don't, I don't think they have any in their hand. They do not. If you're wanting, wondering about nines versus sixes, the odds have blue backgrounds. The evens have uh, the orangey yellow backgrounds. So if there's a question, that's how you can tell. So they say two nines and now they get to flip over both of these cards and what is underneath is now available to be played out. Uh, there are some specialty cards and specialty actions in this game. If this person is now very happy because they also have two nines. So if they play two nines or more, if there's at least four nines down after they play, they say another two nines and then they say poof because there's four. So they made the pile of cards go poof. These get discarded off to the side. They get to flip over these. And now they get a bonus turn. So we'll go ahead and have them, uh, they're gonna play this 10 because they wanna get to see what is underneath. They flip it over, their turn is over. Uh, the other way to get rid of the stack is if you use a poof card. So you can say poof and get rid of the stack and then take a bonus turn and that's the whole game. You just keep on going. If you get stuck, if something happens and there's like a one or two, usually it's later on the game, there's a very low number here and they can't, they can't play anything that same number or lower, then they have to collect the stack into their hand. Uh, their turn is over. The next person gets to go. So you, uh, that's the only other thing to keep into, uh, take into account and you keep on going and until someone's ran out of cards and then you tally up the score. For tallying up score at the end of the round, we'll say this player played all the cards. These players got down to just this. So if this player goes out, they have zero points 
for that round. And then these players count up the value of all of the cards they had left, and that is their score. So this person would have 16, 17, 18, 19 points for that round. This person would have uh, all of these cards added up, as well as the poof, which is worth 50 points. So you really don't want to be stuck with those at the end of a round. Uh, at the end, you would just shuffle them all up again, pick out, everybody gets 19 cards, you set up your round, uh, pick out uh, cards again to see who gets to go first for the round, and you can play, you're supposed to play up to seven rounds, and at the end of seven rounds, you tally up scores, and whoever has the lowest total is the winner. So that's how to play Poof the Game. The target demographic for this is if someone who's looking for a light family game. Uh, the rule complexity is very easy. The only tricky thing about this game sometimes is just having to fish out or add in cards depending on the changing player counts, but that's not too bad at all. Uh, how competitive is this game? It's medium competitive with what you're putting out there. And there is a little more strategy than it seems like there could be on the surface. My husband really likes it when he lures me into a trap where he's able to play um, the final card in a set to make the stack go poof and get a bonus turn. So uh, there's a little bit of that, but nothing really uh, mean-spirited is part of this game. Uh, the replay value is medium to high, depending on who you're playing it with. Um, but when we played it the first time, uh, we played through once, and then I think we played four or five games in a row because we kept on saying, oh, well, I'm going to see how it goes this time, or if I tried to do this instead. And then we got different player counts involved. We got the kids involved. And so we just played it a bunch over and over and over again because it is so quick, light, easy, and fun. Uh, similar games. If you're looking at this, you might also be familiar with uh, Three Up, Three Down has a very similar gameplay. Uh, with, uh, they only have three cards face down and then three cards face up on top of it. Uh, but it is a bit more punitive and you get stuck a bit more. And uh, my kids uh, don't want to play it <laughs> anymore because they just seem to get stuck more often and it's more frustrating. And in this you can get stuck, but it seems like you get, you have more opportunities to work with what you have. Uh, so, it, but if you like that, then you should check out Three Up, Three Down. Also, a uh, llama drama is a llama themed game with a bunch of super powered llamas and you have cards uh, that are mysteries at the end that you're flipping out. So kids really like that. So I would say that's more if you're looking for a younger age group, then I would go with uh, llama drama. But for a light uh, middle school, perhaps middle school and up uh, game night, this is super fun and you should absolutely check out Poof. So thank you so much and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.